Hello, Slothrin and adult fans of LEGO. It is time for another excellent and fabulous episode of Sloth City. And what is going on in Sloth City today? Well, for one thing, we have a magnificent new influx of aliens for Sloth City because we are all about diversity. And the city planners uh, recognized that we were missing a very important demographic, and that is female aliens. We had probably more male aliens than the average Lego city, but we didn't have any female aliens, and so we put the word out. And now we have these fine female aliens who have come to join us in Sloth City. They all have agreed that Sloth City is a happening place, where they can explore themselves and become the fully realized individuals that they want to, where they can be accepted for who they are, including this fine citizen who is not precisely a new female citizen, because this is a non-binary citizen, uh, and... Clover, that is our new citizen's name, Clover goes by they, them pronouns because their species is one that does not have male and female sexes. Uh, The way their species reproduces, and I'm not going to go into details because that would be too much personal information, but suffice it to say They have a different system than we do, and therefore choosing male or female pronouns in this case would be, uh, it would, it would, it would be incorrect. How about that? We'll say that it would be incorrect. So, uh, welcome Clover and our other new fine citizens to Sloth City. Also, this fine robot dog who has joined us and is hoping to find find a fine family here. But besides all of these fine new lady aliens that we have added to our population, we also have a magnificent new ride at Star Adventurer Park, Sloth City's fine amusement park. And this is the Rocket Racer. And it is a fine, fine roller coaster that has been added to the amusement park. So now we have six major attractions as well as I don't know how many, not quite as major, but still pretty impressive looking attractions. We have the Rocket Racer, and I'm going to show you some of its features before I forget. Besides having these fine cars that people ride in, there are things that as you go through, like you hit, and it does things. So we've got shiny stuff here, and we've got spinny things here. And we've got cool doors that, if you hit them, they open up. Whoops, there goes the hole. Oh, I'll just show you, because here we have Brett and Buttshop and Solbrick and the woodshop teacher who have already survived a ride, and they will show you. Just keep rolling. See, when you go through here... It knocks open those neon doors. So that is also a fine and exciting feature on this roller coaster. And the other really cool thing is I left Brett uncinched in his seat just so that we could show you this. Is with his feet, if he goes in here a little bit more like he should be. There is a light that lights up. Can you see that? And so you can have the light lit up on this fine ride. But 
I didn't want to be burning the battery on it, so that's why I don't have him, you know, stamping on it at the moment. But yes, we have the fine Rocket Racer, and if anybody thinks that there could be a better name for the roller coaster than Rocket Racer, feel free to tell me in the comments. But in addition to that, we also have the awesome Cosmic Flyers. We have the awesome Orbitron. We have the magnificent and fabulous Galaxy Gondolas. We have the... What else do we have? We have the Drop Ride. This fine drop ride, which I think that I finally decided is going to be called the Falling Star. I thought that that would be an appropriate name for a space-themed amusement park attraction. And then we have this fine ride, which I am calling the Astro Wheel. So we have all of those fine attractions, and in addition to that... We have the Deep Space Rocket Launch Simulation that people can go in and visit uh, and see what a launch rocket sequence is like. They're in the blast-off bunker, uh, and, you know, they can uh, also go on guided tours of the rocket and see what it's like to uh, go inside of a Deep Space Rocket that happens like on the hour or every other hour or something. I think that you have to have a minimum number of people signed up before they open it up. But yes, we have that fine attraction. And then we have other things like over here we have the uh, shooting range where you can win yourself an awesome uh, space ray gun by shooting the targets. And we have a popcorn vendor, and over here we have the Dodgem bumper cars, and of course our hot dog vendor. And we have other people and citizens, uh, members of the park staff who, you know, are wandering about, adding to the atmosphere, you know, the whole space theme. But I think that all in all, that is an incredibly, incredibly cool addition to the amusement park. Even though things are so tightly packed in there now, we can't actually run all of the rides. So I'm going to have to figure out if there's some way I can rearrange things to give a little bit more floor space to the Cosmic Flyers in particular, because if we turn that ride on as far as, as high as it will go, it ends up slicing the heads off of people on adjoining rides, and that would not be good, so we can't do that. But still, even with its slightly precarious arrangement at the moment. Don't you agree that it is colorful and amazing and wonderful and doesn't it look like someplace that you would love to visit and go on the rides and get yourself some popcorn and a hot dog? Does that not look like a fine attraction that everybody would want to visit if they are visiting Sloth City? Yes, I agree. So, I think that I have now shown you what I had planned to show you. I have introduced you to our fine new citizens, and I have shown you our fine new park attraction. And I am having a terrible time keeping this in focus now, so probably my camera has decided that it's time to end the video so we're going to wrap this up. I thank you for coming to this little update of Sloth City. I hope you'll join me for the next episode of Sloth City. And until then, I hope that you, my dear Slothrin and adult fans of Lego, have a most excellent and fabulous day.